Hello friends, this is Cold Run. Welcome back to a blind playthrough of Elden Ring, where we're here in the Moonlight Altar. Um, by unanimous, not really a vote, but I, I asked basically, should I go to the Moonlight Altar uh, or Deeper Depths uh, this time? And it was, yeah, everyone said Moonlight Altar, so I'm happy to do that. Um, I noticed during the last video, or during uh, watching my friends play through when she got to the Falling Star Beast, it just hit me that the Falling Star Beast and Estelle both have those pincer things um, that I associate with centipedes or beetles of some kind. And they both have them. So that's the it's an interesting trait to give star creatures in this game, to have pincers, some kind of scorpion tail, because that's what the um that's what Estelle had and that's what the Falling Star Beast had. I didn't I forgot about that. And also to have like it just be a collection of rocks. It's a really creative design decision, I think. Um, so last time we went to the Shoffer Aqueduct, we found Dee's brother, whose only words were Dari. I don't know if Darius is like the name of the Hunter of the Dead or just Dari is the name of the Hunter of the Dead, his brother, or and he was mourning, or if he had trauma previously. But there's something going on with D. Uh, but he became D Beholder of Death after in the fight itself after we gave him the twinned armor. And so I th I'm thinking we'll probably see him down the line when we get further into deeper depth. Um, other stuff to do. Uh, one is I got a golden land incantation that was time that I just forgot right at the start of deeper depths that I forgot to check out. Let's see what that actually is or does or says. It was an Ash of War. Or Colossal Weapons, Great Spears, so probably not something I'll be using. Thrust the armament into the ground, then gather the strength to unleash a blast of sacred mad energy that co ah coalesces into golden darts. This is, of course, it's the uh, the avatar of, of the Urtri avatar thing. Neat. Okay. Uh, another thing is, uh, Super King NNN in the comments suggested trying out a particular attack when two when dual wielding, basically where the enemy is in front of you and they swing and you can st quick step just out of reach and follow up with a counter attack. That's really neat. It's like a long, it's like, a, so that's the swippity swipe normally. That's, it's like a longer swippity swipe. And it sounds like there's more oomph to it. So does it do more damage like to do the step back counter than to just hit once? I wonder. Uh, I also want to prep uh, or relook at my incantation stuff because I haven't done that in a while. So we'll put up a seal here. I don't think it really matters what seal because none of these are going to be all that super useful, are they? Let's get, you know what? Let's get um, faith up to 12. I think what's our faith at currently? 11. Let me get faith up to 12. That'll increase my options here. There. We got faith up to 12, and now let's see what our options are. Heal HP over a period of time. That actually might be kind of interesting. Yeah, let's let's actually go for bestial vitality here, and then assassin's approach to end it off. All right, I think I'm ready to start checking this place out. The Deep Ainsel Well is from over there. There's so many areas to look at. Um, you know what? Let's just start by checking out what these things are. Yeah, let's just head... What direction is that? That's this way. Yeah, let's head to that thing up there. Or this thing over here. Yeah, a little ruin area up here. Stake of America. Moon folk ruins. Hello, deer. Or buck. Buck is a deer, right? It's just a specific, like a... A buck and a doe are both types of deer. Are both genders of deer. Flavors of deer. What even is this place? This is... What is the moon? It's gotta have... Fucking god. 
It's gotta have something to do with Ronnie. Who are the moon folk? Because all the sorcerers seem sort of moon folk, but not really, because we know that moon folk and star folk are different, and Ronnie is like dark, dark moon versus. Yeah, it's going to be one of these places. You know what? Let me just ignore you. I think that's the way to go. That's how we deal with our problems in this household. Yeah, this is... There we go. We have to kind of roll towards them. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're managing. We're dealing with it, sort of. Oh, is this has got to be it, right? Yep. I saw the square this time. Treasure chest. Number eight. Not the most thrilling item, but probably very good. I think we finally cleared these jerks out. Okay. Yeah, ignoring them was not working. I don't know if there's anything really beyond that smithing stone, so let me take a quick look over here before I move on to, num to marker number three. I... Let's leave you alone for the moment. You know what? I'll bet that that's the dragon that flew away before. Glintstone dragon. Um, Adula? I think it's Adula. I'll bet it, like, pieced out of its of being up there and flew out to here. Uh, well... There's a dragon. What kind of dragon are you? No, you're a doula! Okay, good start. Get some FP back. Yeah, this is a good thing to hide behind, I think. Two. Nope. Oh, whoa. That was more deadly than I expected. But does the flap three times and then stomp thing. Okay. Uh, how do I do this now? There we go, we're magic fortified. Oh, right, the pause. Ah, too late. Bad timing on my part. Let's try... Again, something like this. Let me get something with longer range. What do I have equipped on this? What's my uh, ash ash for this? The Four Frost Stomp. Yeah, maybe this will be helpful. Piercing weapons are pretty good, right? Against dragons. Yeah, I don't know how to... I think I just have to GTFO for that part of it.
Yeah, bad timing there on my part. Uh, hmm. Double heal. It's gonna shatter, right? Oh! I didn't know it homed in after it shattered. Uh, hmm. Two, three, stomp. Oh, glad to have their shield out for that. Three, oh no, it's gonna strafe, okay. No, wait, oh yeah, yes. Consume it, do the thing. I got really far away from it. I thought I got far enough away from it to avoid the stomp. I guess I really can't be mounted for this fight. Okay. I mean, I'm sure I can be, but it's I, I don't know the distance on how to how to dodge that that particular drop attack. Hmm. Hmm. It's really ice attacks more than fire, more than uh, magic, isn't it? Oh, it's ice attacks. Why am I using Horfrost Stomp? Let me, um, see if I can get something other than frost on my weapon. Let's try, um, yeah, let's try blood in this case. Blood loss build up. Yeah, let's try a blood hinged rapier. We'll see how that feels. Oh, right, it saw me. I don't know how to dodge that on foot. Got to be a way, though. Oh, yeah, now I'm getting to the side. No, wait, am I going to run off? I was going to run off the edge, wasn't I? Let me dismount. I'm having trouble doing anything. Uh, could I target it? Oh, right! The, you have, like, the sift thing. Timing was off there. I waited way too, way too, I went way too early. Again, went way too early. I have to hold it. Got it that time. Run to it. There. Oh, it's using up my health! I don't know that I knew that. Alright, so maybe Dagger actually is the way to go. Can we hide behind this effectively? Moderately effectively. Right. I went too early. I went too early again. Yeah, it's not worth it, I don't think. There. Good timing that time. Please just hit something on the dragon. Way too early there, but I got lucky. Okay, blocked it at least. Three. 
Oh, the backswing got me. Crap, 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 crap. I can't, I don't have anything to hide behind. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to roll and I just, I just couldn't. Yeah, so running towards it in that case really worked well. So this isn't the run, but... I mean, I... Yeah, I ran out of play. I ran out of room to go. I, that was my bad. Okay, so I'm gonna try, um... Going back to Reduvia, I think. Please just hit something. Thank you. Nope, we're getting hit. Sorry, Torrin. No, we can't. We can't hit if we're on this thing. Back to Reduvia. Okay, that's the way to go, I think. Don't know how to deal with that on foot. Sword time. I dodged the first hit. I guess I have to dodge double dodge? I don't know how to dodge the backlash. It's got to be about positioning, right? I'm trying to dodge as best I can. I just can't do it. I have to, I has to be a positioning thing. Like it has to be using the rocks here to guard me. Yeah, I think it's about position, about using the positioning better. Two, three, stomp. Ah, almost. Nope. Yeah, I... Ah, this is... Maybe it's a... Yeah, I think next time I'm going to try to go to this... I can't, I keep missing it. I just keep missing it. Yeah, I'm out. Please hit something. That's really frustrating. I just don't know how to target these dragons. I am like, I think I'm targeting the leg and then I just start flailing up to the tummy or something. Oh no. So you roll you breathe to the left. Oh great. Yeah, this is okay, this is even no positioning. Remember, it's about positioning. Uh which I don't have right now. I'll just block it as best I can. Alright, get up to you. Perfect. You're doing the stomp and I wasn't seeing it. I wasn't watching it. Oh, the backswing on the face. So you do it to the one side. That's interesting. Too far. Here we go. Yep, going towards it. Towards the body is the way to go. Oh, I'm out of mana. Two, three, stomp. FP up. Dodge and stomp. Oh, dodge too early. The old bugaboo. Two, three, stomp. And we got him. Not too bad. I mean, it was rough, but not too bad. That was adjustable. That was a pretty cool fight. I like it. 
A duel is Moonblade. Okay. It was... I got a little bit frustrated at the end, but it's frustration at a thing that is not like a surprise for this fight. It's like always a thing for dragon fights. Like just positioning and having to... It's not like a... How do I say it? It's, it's a frustration with the particular adaptations I'm not making. Like... This was the right weapon for the fight, but melee was rough outside of a few circumstances. I just had to remember what limited circumstances to use this in um, and had to adjust to the to the positioning and camera stuff. Let's see here. We got... Was that an incantation? Or, no, that was an actual weapon, wasn't it? Adula's Moonblade. Sorcery of Adula, the Glintstone Dragon. Conjures a cold magic greatsword. Then delivers a sweeping blow that launches a frost blade, a blade-like projectile of frost. Adula, a devourer of so a devourer of sorcerers, was bested by Ronnie and subsequently swore a knightly oath to her dark moon. Hey, just like me. Why are we fighting? We're on the same team. She didn't best me, but she bested my heart. Cathedral of Manicellus. The new term. There's going to be a bunch of starlight shards around here. What is Manicellus? Yeah, a bunch of stars crash down here. The new term to me, at least. Not one I've, I think I've heard before. Okay, resting here. In case there's a new dialogue option or something. There is not. I like here that the the moon, the dark moon that's out is obscuring the Erd tree. Wait, are there two moons? There are two moons, unless, what time is it? Is it day? No, it's morning. That must be the sun. No, that's the moon. Is Why are there two moons? How strange. The star catcher got another starlight shard. 120,000 runes. I just noticed how many runes I have. That's a lot of runes. It's a lot of spaghetti. Cathedral of Manicellus. Is Manicellus like the name of the dark moon? That's possible, right? And I'm 99% sure that term has not come up in Elden Ring before. I don't remember seeing Manicellus before. I mean, Celeste is, you know, celestial and all, but like, and Manus's hand, hand of the hand of the stars, Church of the Hand of the Stars, something like that. But as a proper term, I actually have, I don't think I've seen it. All right, let's see what happens if we follow the path along the backside. Lunar Estate Ruins. Nope, I have 120,000 runes. I am not dealing with a, a Royal Revenant just yet. Sorry, friend. I'll be back. That's interesting, isn't it? Is there an underground, a way to get underground in the cathedral itself here? Because that looks like an exit from an underground sen section. Something to do with this altar up here? Sorry, this flowering sarcophagus? Whose body would be here? Those wooden beams are sticking out in a platformy way. Am I supposed to be able to get up there? It looks like there might be another way. To, it might be, it might be a way to get up higher. You know what? Let let me not worry about this just yet. There's enough. I might end up coming back here, but there's enough times in this game where I explore something and I see a thing to get to, and it turns out I need to go to like 
West Texas, and then there's an underground path that takes me eventually up there. So, like, looking at it, the most direct route is probably not super productive. All right, let's pop another one into Dexterity, and we'll put another second into Dexterity, too, I think. There. 55 Dexterity, level 106. Beautiful. Yeah, so Lunar Estate Ruins is where we are here. Yeah, just go ham on them. No thank you. Let's bring out our old friend, me. No, let's bring out our new friend. No, let's stick with our old friend. We haven't leveled up our new friend. No, we've leveled up, leveled them up a little bit. Let's try out our new friends. We don't have enough room, uh, enough FP to level up or bring out our new friends. Let's bring out our old friend. Not too bad, just Bredouvia Blood Blade the down blade blood blade the thing down. With two of me. Two a one ghost glove war rank two, that's all you got. Golden Rune 10, that's more like it. There was a couple of you. Is this a thing? It is a thing. All right, where are you going to take me? Bedding Stone 8. Good. Not cool, but good. Hello, turtle. Oh, flock of turtles. We can get down there. Do we want to? I think I do. Turtles are interesting. Uh, did I screw myself? I might have screwed myself. No, I didn't. I can still go this way. Can I? I can, but I might die. No, we're okay. Alright, let's see what the tower has. This is going to be one of those towers I need to bust into through puzzle solving, right? But before we do that, oh no, there's a grace point. I was going to say before we do that, let's check out uh, Dragonface McGee, but maybe we'll check out Dragonface McGee after. Whose tower is this going to be? Altar South. That's going to be an Altar North. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm expecting this to be a Chelona's Rise. Okay. I'm not expecting this to be Chelona's Rise. I'm expecting this to be a tough thing to puzzle out. But I'm on the lookout for turtles and anomalies. Anomalies being things that might point me to turtles. Not even mad. I say as salt drips from my face. I don't see any turtles up here, at least. Is that a turtle? Oh! We found one, and it's a big one. We're going with the serpent arrow. No. I forgot how this works. Uh, I think I have to... Okay, so I have to dual wield it. And then this. And we got poison bows, or poison arrows, I think. So this will be interesting. That's one down, presumably. Feels like a safe bet. So anything else along the cliff sides? No, I I meant to jump earlier. I was hoping to get a double jump, like, around the corner, but no luck. But I don't see other turtles on the side here. I'm going to get it this time. Yeah. I don't see other turtles on the side here. Let's keep looking. Nothing else is jumping out at me around the cliffs here, I, but I don't know how far afield I have to go. I, I don't see anything along any of these cliffs, so maybe that was just a one-off. And the others are somewhere else. So we'll, we'll come back to that for now. We'll come back to that later. Was the turtle from before a sign? Like the pack of turtles in that weird little nook over here? I'm going to check there just to be sure, but I doubt it. Nothing that I see even, even here in this far stretch. Probably not. Okay. I'll mark this again as something to come back to, but keep going for the moment. Are you Crystallians or are you turtles? You're Crystallians, I think. And I hear a scarab. All right, let's get our uh, our Crystallian hunting gear out. Oh, I see you. How did we reach you? What are you? Oh, you're just a, uh... You're not very interesting. Nope, I can't get... Yeah, I know I'm running right into their loving arms. No, please just let me hit you. And now there's a giant. Uh, probably a knight. You were probably nothing, right? Yeah, you were nothing. You are sturdy. Uh, ow, okay, you are 
more than sturdy. You hit very, very hard. We're placing, we're giving Crag Blade for the, to this. We'll see how this, how this works. All right, did you both wake up or just you? Hopefully just you. Did I get the Crag Blade effect? I don't think I did. Oh, right, comes back. Yeah, so having it not be sacred is a real help. way they shatter. I think it's just runes though, isn't it? Alright, so what are these things? Where were they? These things. What are these? No! No, dude. Okay. Okay. Go to the Moonlight Altar, they said. It'll be easy and fun, they didn't say, but, you know, maybe they thought. All right, let's try this again. I thought the trees would hide. Would break. Nope. Uh. Why am I still? Oh no, no, no. Ah shit! All right, get ready. Now. Nope. Now. Get ready. Now. As soon as I see the first one moving, I can do it. Now. The first one moving. There. There. Ah, oh, too far. When will I learn? Now. Hey, glad I have this shield up at least. The comet? Okay. Heal up, please. Okay, watch for first one. There. Oh, I thought I in time, I did not. No, nope, please let me move. Please let me move. Okay. Not now. Not this close. Got you. Okay. Sorry, Red Wolf of Radagon. I'm sure you're doing your best to be a good doggo. You failed. No, you were still good. Smithing Stone 7. What are you? 
That's a new person. A young woman, a girl, really, reading a book. Super young. Not super young. She's a girl, though. She's 11, 12, something like that. Living Stone 8. Young Renala? Renala? Probably not. I don't know. Hmm. It could be a young, uh, could be a younger Renala because it, the Red Wolf of Radagon was set to guard it, so it could be protecting the image of his his ex, maybe. Got a bunch of them, a bunch of the Crystallians over here, don't we? Not sticking around to explore. I'm okay leaving them be. So this takes us back to where we started. Oh yeah, let's check out the dragon here. Is this was this just a doula we saw and a doula moved over? No, this is a different dragon. Wakey wakey. Wakey wakey by missing all of my fucking attacks. Hit something. Nope. Okay. So you can do range stuff. Can toss out comets. No, wrong button. Wrong, wrong flask. Ah, uh, okay. If you say so, game. Nope. Target it. Okay, you're going to strafe? No, you're repositioning. Okay. Nope, I guess not okay. Oh my god, okay. Alright, calm down with the range. Nope, 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 nothing. Hitting nothing. Oh, great, okay. Nope, hide behind the thing. Nope, I, okay, all right. Today is not my day for dragon fights. I, I fucking hate this, how I can't hit anything. It's really frustrating. It's incredibly frustrating. Something, anything, please.
No, nope. I thought I lost my target. I lost my lock on. Okay, thank God. I was ready to explode. That was... Okay, we'll, we beat the dragon. That's good, I guess. Okay. Oh, boy. I Sometimes I wish I didn't have to melee. I, I'm glad I don't have to melee. I'm glad I have Ashes of War that let me not melee. I guess I'll say that. All right. We got more dragon hearts. Don't really need them, but cool. A horse elevator? What's a horse elevator doing here? Interesting. Get an ever jail. Why a horse elevator? What are you giving me access to that I wouldn't otherwise have access to? It's a very strange place for a horse elevator. There's got to be a purpose to it. How are we on time? We're way over. I've been playing for an hour and a half. I meant to only play for like an hour. Um, okay. I really not see anything to do with the horse elevator just yet. Wait, what is that? What is that? Is the Erd was the Erd tree always suffused with moonlight, or is it just because I'm up here that it looks like that? The Erd tree looks like it's overflowing with moonlight. I gotta check here just to be sure. Because it looks different here. I mean, the moon is in full force. It's blad that rays are blasting into, uh... Oh, never mind. That was just a graphical effect of the, uh... Of being on the moonlight altar. Oh, never mind then. So that's going to be it for me for today. Uh, we have a bunch of mysteries still lingering. Chaluna's Rise... I haven't found the other two turtles for that. There's this weird horse elevator that I don't know how to use appropriately. Maybe I am have to use it to try to get to here or something? I'll have to explore that more. And there's this underground, like a clear underground tunnel coming out of here. So I think there's more to do in the Cathedral of Manicellus. Yeah, so I'll explore that now next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you as we... Continue in the Moonlight Altar. Bye-bye.